Ah! I look ridiculous. <laughs> but today I have to wash the dishes, clean up some more, you know, being a mother. You clean literally 24 7. So. I can help. What? I can help wash the dishes. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you when I'm ready. You watch videos and I'll tell you when I'm ready, okay? How sweet is she? <laughs> So sweet, but I want to show y'all something. I couldn't find my other house shoe, but I'm really good at improvising. So look at here. Look at that house shoe and the slipper. They almost look the same, girl. Almost look the same. I'm gonna invest in getting the. I broke my G7X, you know, because I'm clumsy. So I'm gonna invest in getting a new one soon. So the quality will be changing real soon girl my throat hurts i just got over a sinus infection and now your girl is still sick tell me why you know why because i don't know why lupus that's why because lupus makes everything worse and longer everybody's telling me that i should be cautious all my subscribers are telling me to be cautious well, not all of them, most of them, about having another baby. Really think about it and pray about it because it's kind of, it's pretty dangerous whenever you're, when you have lupus. But, I know, I know guys, it's, it, uh, that's the thing, is I'm scared that like, I'll die or something from having a baby because of my lupus. So, I don't know, I think that everybody's right, I should pray about it. But I have baby fear so bad, man. But I, I can't have one right now. I need to lose another like 30 pounds to get back to my weight before this. And then I'll work on losing more weight. So right now, right now what I'm going to do is focus on my health. So I won't be having a baby right now. I'm gonna focus on my health and if and if this vegan diet and these green smoothies heal my body, then uh, I'll have a baby. But if they don't, and lupus is still here, then uh, I won't. So it might take like six months. So we'll see. Let's let, let's wait six months and see if I can stick to my diet and see um, what happens. I want to show y'all how I make my green smoothie. Let me turn on the light over here. My dishes are still there, and they're even more. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, this is my blender. It is a um it's called a uh shred emulsifier. Now, this is a great blender, especially if you can't afford the Vitamix cuz that's the one I want, but I can't afford it. I just don't feel like paying that much money for a blender. Like it's a little ridiculous. Like 400 or 500 dollars for a blender. No, thank you. Okay. So, what I do so I get my kale, bam, kale. I get my kale, I get my frozen fruit, which is, I'm about to mess up this whole brain pan in the freezer. <laughs> my frozen fruit, I got my blue agave, which is what I put in it, and water, and my chia seeds. I always forget, I always forget the chia seeds. Now, when you're making this smoothie, I always put the chia seeds in first because they chop up. Now, I because I have lupus, I do a half a cup of chia seeds because, guys, it really makes a difference. It really does make a difference. I'm not even kidding because I think that's what makes my bones, my joints, not hurt. Now, this is a pretty small bundle of kale so I'm gonna put the whole bundle in okay so just bear with me real quick oh I'll put you right here huh hey okay so I'm gonna put this bundle of kale in it's organic I like to get organic because like dr. Brooke Goldner said you don't want to make a pesticide smoothie you want to make a healthy you know a healthy greens smoothie not a pesticide smoothie so I just kind of shove that in there push it down like that 
you just push it down and it's in okay next thing is my frozen fruit now I like oh I should call Phil real quick just say if I could because Phil was Phil was trying this right here because because it's such a big smoothie guys that he didn't even try it he didn't try it I'm not even call him I'm gonna try it and see what happens so we have almond usually I put fruit in but it makes it so big so I'm gonna try this almond extra I mean orange extract and stevia sugar this is like, that's the best sweetener for you but I think blue agave is pretty awesome all right Let's try this orange extract. Make it taste like orange juice. This will make the smoothie so much smaller. Alright. I put a good amount. And then some of the stevia. I smell the orange a little bit. A little bit. Let's see. I'll put like four of these stevia packets in because I like mine to be pretty stinking sweet. And stevia is supposed to make it pretty sweet. So if it's not very sweet, I'll put in... I mean, I don't need it to be like candy sweet, but I do need it to be drinkable. water in the I thought there was water in the refrigerator to make my smoothie nice and calm honey but there ain't none so I like to put the water to the top of the greens just to make it like not um, bulky This smell like orange actually. I smell the orange. Alright, so here it is. There's my chia seeds, my uh, greens, and in there is the stevia and the orange extract. Let's see if it works. Because if it does, okay. all done focus it's all done that's what it looks like it's a green smoothie I know it looks gross there we go and I'm going to taste it I'm gonna smell it first to see if it smells orange mm. I think this is gonna be gross <laughs> I should have put my frozen fruit in dang it Okay, so what I do is I put it in a mason jar. Of course, I might not be drinking this. I might be putting frozen fruit, so I better not put it all in. Heck, no. That is disgusting. It's room temperature. No way. Frozen fruit. Frozen fruit, help me. I need a lot. That's gross. I'm not even kidding. That's disgusting. One more info. I don't care how big it is. It needs to be able to be drank. Drank. Drunk. Drank. Whatever. That was so close. I almost threw up. 
All right, here comes some more. It's about to be loud, sir. Right? That is good. That orange extract like ruined it. It's gross. We'll have to drink it. Do not put I need a cough fill. the smoothie with the almond uh, with the orange extract and the stevia and it is literally the most disgusting thing I have ever tasted it's terrible I mean it is so bad I almost threw up yeah I just wanted to try it to see if it will make my smoothie smaller and stuff and now I put the fruit in there and it's I can still taste that disgusting orange extract and that disgusting stevia I put a lot, so it should have been good, yeah, and I put four stevia packets, and it was, oh my god, I don't even think you should try it, that's how bad it was. Blue, blue agave is what you need to use, let's see how many calories it has. It says... It has 60 calories for one tablespoon. And one tablespoon is more than I even put in my smoothie. Yeah, so maybe look. Exactly. So maybe try that because that's the best sweetener out there. I'm not even kidding. It tastes good. And it's liquid, which makes it more, you know, powerful. Exactly. That's what I thought was going to happen this morning, but they tricked me. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. I just wanted to know how gross it was. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Thanks for telling me. Maybe too. Bye. Alright. Now let's try this. Please let this be good, Lord. I mean, I know it should be good. It's usually always good. Yep, I can drink that. It's not like, oh, it's so delicious, but. But it is drinkable. This is the straw Phil uses, and I think I'm gonna use it today. It's not even a straw, he made it from some toy. So, let's try that today. All right, I'm gonna wash the dishes and stuff, and I'll be back. All right guys, the dishes are washed. Shall I show you? So that you believe me. But I have a lot of others, okay. Didn't see two dishes, don't judge me. The dishes are washed. A lot of dishes. In my house, this is a lot of dishes. Like, and I've got time for that except for my little. What 
Monica. Okay. So for this little thing, it just needs to be mostly rinsed off. Just a sec. Put you right here. I need to kind of wash it off. So. Simple. Just rub your sponge on there. Let me dry my hands before I touch the camera. And I'm trying to mess with it. I love these peppermints. It's a true addiction. So, but, you know, peppermints are my life. You know, especially the soft ones. I'm about it. So, right now, 12.02. The kids are going to be doing their school soon. Right now they're coloring. Hi. Hi. Wanna Hi. see my gap up by two? Oh yeah. Go get it. I mean stand up. Daniel pulled out his own tooth, guys. Like this. This one right here. He pulled it out himself. Was it hard? Um no. Were you scared? No. Did you cry? No. Did it bleed a lot? Yes. Really? And I told you to wash your mouth out? Yes. Did it make it stop bleeding? Yes. I'm so proud of you pulling out your own tooth. Mommy and son. He did a good job, huh? He's a big boy now. Six years old. Yanking out his own teeth. Could I stop smiling? Sure. <laughs> oh, so funny. Sarai's over here watching video, or, or she calls them videos, but she's about to get up. She got to do some school herself. Now, Chloe and Nathaniel do school online. Sarai doesn't. She's working on the letter A right now with me, writing it and, and knowing it. I know she's only three, but I think you can start them learning early. So, another one to the eighth <laughs> And I'll update you when there's something to update. Love when three year olds mop with you. Let me help you. Wait, keep mopping. I just turned the camera on. Looks good. So I had a question. Would y'all like to see like different videos and just vlogs, like a morning routine, night routine with the kids, um, like what I eat in the days, uh, stuff like that. Like me and Phil could do videos. Like I know Sass let wanted me to wanted Phil to do a video on his weight loss, so that's one video I'm planning. But we could do like husband and wife videos like advice or whatever not that we should be giving advice but <laughs> uh so let me know if like you're interested in seeing something like that down in the comments or just by pushing like the thumbs up button that would tell me and i'll like plan those videos so Phil's home he just works at home but i mean he's home all the time but he was at work so how was your day that's pretty good i got a lot done that's good did you miss me yeah, I missed you a lot. Oh, I'm so sweet. <laughs> We're totally in love deeply. So, <laughs> there you go. Chloe, how do you feel a bit about me and Daddy kissing? Um, I'd rather not watch it. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> she says she'd rather, um, I'd rather not watch it. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to look from this book tonight. So, all right, me and Chloe, well, me, <laughs> decided to make this corn chowder. It's coconut corn chowder, but look at here. Look how good that looks. That's it. It looks so good, right? 
so that's what I'm making. I'm just cutting up my onion now, and I'm watching Jasmine TV. Me and Chloe sit here. There she is. Watching her. Chloe's helping me cook. <laughs> so I'll just put you here. And just cutting up an onion. Actually, I can. Here's the corn chowder. Carrots, corn, some potatoes in there. And I put it over rice with cornbread. So it is delicious. It's seriously the best corn chowder. That's Sorry. my plate. It's Chloe's plate. It's the best corn chowder I have ever tasted or made. And I made another one. I think I made it out of forks over knives. It's good, but it ain't nothing like it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll have it up either tonight or in the morning. I might do it in the morning because it's just y'all watch it better but thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow bye